Real estate agent Christina Smallhorn, better known as the Real Estate Whisperer, is here with us this morning. Hi. Hi, good morning. Thank good. you for having me. We're happy to have you here. I know mobile homes come in all shapes and sizes, but there's a lot of stigma. I mean, where I come from, there ain't any mobile homes like Barbara Corcoran's mobile home. So is there a budding market for middle class mobile home parks? Uh, may not be like middle class, but the the dynamic of mobile homes has definitely changed. Since 1976, mobile homes have were not really necessarily built to any kind of standards. Today's mobile homes are built to pretty much anything you can think of. You can have your uh, hardy plank flooring and all that stuff that you could think of in a regular traditional home. You can have that in a mobile home. It's just what you want. And even if you were thinking of buying an older mobile home, you can uh, revamp it. Because if you look at Barbara Cochran's mobile home, that isn't the one she bought originally. She definitely revamped it. Mm -hmm. You know, she said she put $150,000 in renovations into it. I went online this morning before chatting with you and found mobile homes in Florida going for about $99,000, uh, $100,000. How much does it cost across the country compared to traditional housing? So typically, if you look at a brand new manufactured home, they run a, under $100 per square foot, about $76 per square foot. If you have it attached to land with a piece of property, it can go up from there. But normally, they're a, a lot less expensive than a traditional home, and they're going to be a lot less expensive, believe it or not, per square foot than a tiny house. Well, I was going to talk to you about that because I thought, did mm -hmm. the tiny home movement influence the popularity of mobile home parks, or is it just merely inflation? Well, the parks themselves, probably, because the rent for a park, you know, in order to have a tiny home, you have to be able to park it somewhere. So they can park their tiny homes in a mobile home park. But price per square foot, people should really start looking at uh, a manufactured home or mobile home, as some people call it, w way before they should be looking at a tiny home. You're going to get a lot more space and you're going to have a lot more room to live your life than you would in a tiny home. I know that's a lot of the stigma behind it, but... I think anybody that takes a look at an updated, modern, manufactured mobile home, they're going to be really surprised. They're really a great uh, affordable housing option. Well, especially for young people who want to own something, but they can't quite afford, you know, your traditional three bedroom, two bath in the suburbs. Real quick question. What are the cons? I mean, clearly you, you mentioned the stigma, but is there anything else that people interested in purchasing would have to look out for? So uh, anytime you're buying a manufactured home that's before 1976, like I said earlier, they do not have any kind of building standards that were put into them. So you just like anything you, you buy, you have to have an inspection. You have to make sure that's up to par. Some people are kind of don't really like the fact that they are on a chassis. Um, there's kind of a misnomer that they're called mobile homes because usually once you put them in that that location, they're never to be moved again. It's, it is very expensive to move that house. If you decide to move to another park, it can cost mm -hmm. tens of thousands of dollars. But, um, you know, there there's something that people need to look at, especially with the rising cost of home homes today. It's it's ridiculous. So I love me a manufactured home. I think people should definitely take a second look at them again, well, especially <laughs> before they, they like, turn their nose up to them. This this mobile home Barbara Corcoran purchased was eight hundred thousand dollars. That's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for Com that area. I mean, if you look at the location, though, like that, like around there, all those surrounding homes are tens of millions of dollars. Well, there you she go. Has it, like right on the beach with the view. Yeah. She was a genius. That was a smart buy. Okay, Christina Smallhorn, we're going to have your people call Barbara Corcoran's people because I maybe y'all could do a project <laughs> together. Thank you so much for being with us this morning early. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.